All right, welcome back. So we saw how to use the request package to make requests uh, inside of a node app or a node file in this case. Um, we're now going to talk about how you make a request that handles JSON. So we got all this crazy HTML from Reddit and from Google. Most of the time you won't be doing that. Most of the time you'll be requesting an API. So we're going to take a really simple one, this Yahoo Weather API that we saw that's just set up to get sunset time in Hawaii. So I'm going to copy that URL, just double check this is what we get back. Um, and all we want to do is make a really simple application that every time you run it, it just prints out the time of sunset for today or the, or the next sunset in Hawaii. So not that exciting, but nice and simple JSON that we'll handle. And what we'll want to do is print out, it looks like, let's see, results, channel, astronomy, sunset. So we'll need to access those four levels down to get this 6.55 p.m. string. Um, and this is just like a regular JavaScript object. So let's go back and just adapt this. First thing that we'll do is just uh, let's change this around just to match this format that we have here. So if no error and response status code equals 200. Just to clean it up, then I'm going to get rid of this else. And then in here, what we want to do is just get rid of all that and just do console.log response or console.log body, excuse me. And we'll change the URL. So just start simple. <laughs> I uncopied that. Whoops. Copy that URL again. Paste that in. It's gigantic, I know. Um, just while we're looking at this, you can see there's all these percent twenties. Those are how you encode a space in a URL. Just in case you weren't familiar with that. Um, there's this giant statement here. It's pretty intense. We're not going to focus on that. If you wanted to use this API for something on your own, you could definitely check it out. But you can see here there's Maui, Hawaii. So we, I'm sure we could replace this with some other location um, like in Alaska. And we would expect sunset potentially to be different up north. I don't know. Um, OK, so let's just see what we get when we print out the body. And let's run this. Make sure our other stuff is commented out. Node first request.js. Okay, so we get this printed out. So uh, all we really need to do is access query, and then we need to go access results. And it's kind of hard to see here, channel, astronomy, sunset. But again, if you look at it here, the way it's structured. And this is just a nice kind of tool they use to help you understand what the response looks like. Most APIs won't have this exact format where you can view it. But of course, you can just make the request here in your browser and take a look, especially if you have JSON view. So I like to do this. Query, OK, so that's the first level. And then the next thing is results. So let's just start with query. So if we go back, we should just be able to do console.log body query, just like that. Save it. Let's try it. Oh no, undefined. Why would that be happening? So what's going on? Well, the answer is that when we just get the body back here, it looks like it's a JavaScript object, but it's not. It's a string. So take a moment and think about how we could prove that this is a string. Console.log body, how do we know that body is a string? Well, we'll just use type of, which always trips me up that of is not capitalized. It drives me nuts, but okay. If we do this, you'll see that it's a string. So we can't access this information. It's basically coming back like this inside of quotes, this whole thing. Well, that doesn't help illustrate it because it's filled with quotes, but it's a giant string like this. And we can't access parts of that string because it's not a JavaScript object. So there's a simple solution, but it's kind of annoying when you forget about it and you're wondering why am I getting undefined. There's definitely you know, data in this body because we're seeing it here. 
Well, we need to turn it into an object, and it's really simple to do so. Um, all we need to do is parse it, and JavaScript comes with a nice way of doing that built in. It looks like this, json.parse, and what we want it to parse, which would be body. And then we'll save that result to a variable. So we'll just call it data. Or let's call it um, parsed data just to make it clear. So var parsed data equals json.parse body. Now if we console.log body, it shouldn't look any different at all. Try that again. Oh, well, that's silly. I'm printing out body. Let's print out parsed data. And now if we run it, we get a nicer formatted version. So I lied, it actually does look different, um, but the data is the same itself. So rather than being printed like a string is printed, it's printed like an object. And you can see it's structured nicely. We can see at least one layer in, so query and then count. So let's try doing query, save, great, then count, and save. And we don't actually need count, of course. What we need is results. Try running that. And then we want channel, astronomy, sunset, this giant thing here. And this is part of working with APIs, um, having to kind of drill down through the data and figure out how something is structured, which is where something like this is really useful, especially with the really long things of JSON. This is nice and simple. Okay, so let's see what we get now. There's our sunset time. So we could do something nice and simple, just like console.log sunset in Hawaii is at, and it's coming from the API. And you know, when, if you're typing this and following along in six months, that change that time should definitely change. Um, so that's again a simple application of an API, but it's coming live from an API. We're working with kind of this gnarly nested bit of data, and like I said, this one's pretty simple actually, the API uh, response. But even then, we still have a lot of data to kind of drill drill down through these different levels. The key takeaway, though, is this JSON.parse. So when we get the data back, even though it looks like the data, it contains the information that we want, we can't actually extract anything from it because it's all one string. So we're then going to turn it from the string version that looks like a JavaScript object, just with quotes around it, to an actual JavaScript object that we can access and manipulate, which is the magic from that one line right there. All right, so next up, we're going to build a simple express app that uses the request module here uh, to actually get information about movies and kind of make a search app where you can search for different movie titles and see results using a movie API. Okay, 